So we've been developing uh, cell therapies for the treatment of patients with, uh, with cancer. We predominantly have used tumor infiltrating lymphocytes in patients with melanoma. In some of our studies, up to 40% of patients have had durable, complete regressions. But we're very excited about our recent developments, just published in, uh, in Science uh, last, uh, last week, first week of May, uh, which describe a technique for identifying what I think is the perfect target of immunotherapy, and that is the sporadic mutations that occur within the cancer. If we could attack immunologically those mutations, we can have a highly specific and highly sensitive approach to, uh, to cancer treatment. And the immune system is capable of identifying just a single amino acid change present in an entire protein. And so what we've done is identified by exomic sequencing the number of mutations in a uh, cancer patient, and in our science paper, described a new technique for discovering which of these mutations are immunogenic, that is, give rise to a T-cell immune reaction, and then isolate those T-cells for therapy. Uh, we've treated a patient with a cholangiocarcinoma, a common, an epithelial cancer, uh, and seen major regression, and we're trying very hard now to develop this approach to the treatment of patients with common epithelial cancer, so we can extend now the reach of immunotherapy beyond melanoma and kidney cancer to the more common cancer cancers that kill almost 600,000 Americans every year.